Hello friends, it's Miss Leslie from the Everett Public Library. Let's have a preschool story time. Shall we say the welcome song? It goes, welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll bend and touch our toe. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, we'll have some fun. Let's see what's in the apron. I have my apron on today. Oh, look at this. What could that be? Hmm. Let's see what we have. Oh. <laughs> I've got it. It is a, you see that bright red? Apple. The first apple in the basket was a bright and shiny red. The second apple in the basket said, Oh, what a cozy bed. The third apple in the basket said, Hey, move over, you pair. And the fourth apple in the basket said, Please move over there. The fifth apple in the basket said, oh dear, oh me, oh my, this basket looks like pastry. I think we're in a pie. <sighs> it's time for apples and apple pies. Shall we have some apple stories today? Yeah, let's have some apple stories. Let's pick these apples. Can you count them with me? One, two, Three, four, five. Five apples and some apple stories. Do you remember this? We can go crisscross applesauce. Give a little clap. Crisscross applesauce. Put them in your lap. Crisscross applesauce. Quiet as can be. Crisscross applesauce. Eyes here on me. Let's have a book today. I have a book called Apples and Robins. This book is by Lucy Felix. Apples and Robins. Do you see this apple? That's not an apple. The apples are up here. This is a bird in a birdhouse. Let's read this book. We're reading it today with permission from Chronicle Books. Apples and Robins. Remember our reading song, how we know it's time to read? We say, come along and read with me, read with me, read with me. Come along and read with me here at story time. Apples and Robins. All you need for apples are circles and the color red. Summer is ending. The apples hang high on the tree, just out of reach. All you need for a ladder are six rectangles. Five short, one, two, three, four, five, and one long. And there's your ladder. And all you need then is to climb the leafy branches to pick the apples. All you need to take a bite are two circles. One, two. An apple is a circle and an open mouth is a circle too. And a bite of an apple is so sweet. But someone else thinks so too. Oh no, it's a worm. All you need for a bird are three bright triangles. One, two, three. Like the robin's whistle and a red oval, like its round red breast. There's the bird. If you fly away with the worm, it will fly away with the worm and sit in my apple tree singing. All you need for a birdhouse are walls and a roof 
and a little door. There's a birdhouse with the little door and a string to hang it with. Now there's a place for a robin's nest. One, two robins. Oh, but all you need for a storm is for the wind to blow. It's blowing. And the sky to rumble. Crack. Lightning and thunder. Uh-oh. What happened to the birdhouse? Oh, what a mess. But we'll make rake the leaves and gather the apples. All you need for a basket is an empty place to put things. And all you need for a birdhouse is a hammer and some nails. There's the hammer and nails. I'll climb the ladder and hang that birdhouse and take the apples in to eat. All winter long, there will be apples. There will be robins too. And one morning when you are making your breakfast, there's some eggs, an egg will crack in that robin's nest, what will come out? Do you know? Let's find out. That's it. And it will be spring. Did I miss a page? Yes, I missed a page. And there will be baby robins and apple flowers. And then it will be spring. I missed a page of that book, didn't I? Apples and Robins. Hip, hip, hooray, we read a book today. All right, I have a story here I can tell you, and it is about a farmer's wife. She's saying hi. Can you say hi, farmer's wife? Let's see if we can fit this all on here. Well, the farmer's wife one day went out into the apple orchard. This is an apple tree. The green part of the tree. And she went to pick an apple. I have to make this bigger. But her apple fell down into a hole in the ground. And she was very sad. And she thought, how will I get that apple back? Can you think of a way she could get that apple back? Well, she saw a bluebird up in the tree and she said, little bird, little bird, fly down into that hole and get my apple back for me. She wanted the bird to do it for her. And the little bird said, no. Because that was a naughty little bird. And the farmer's wife said, oh, what a naughty bird. So she looked around and she saw a kitty cat. And she said, kitty cat, kitty cat, jump on that bird so the bird will fly down the hole and get my apple back for me. And that kitty cat said, meow. And that meant no, because that was a naughty little kitty cat. That farmer's wife said, what a naughty kitty. So she looked around and she saw a little dog. She said, little dog, little dog, chase the cat. So the cat will jump on the bird, and the bird will fly down the hole and get my apple back for me. And that dog said, woof, which meant no, because he was also quite a naughty little dog. What a naughty dog, said the farmer's wife. So she saw a little bee. She said, little bee, little bee. Sting that dog so the dog will chase the cat. The cat will jump on the bird and the bird will fly down the hole and get my apple back for me. And that little bee said, bzzz, which meant no, because he was a naughty little bee. And that farmer's wife said, what a naughty little bee. And so the farmer's wife looked around and she saw a fire. She said, oh, fire. 
burn that bee, so the bee will sting the dog, the dog will chase the cat, the cat will jump on the bird, and the bird will bring my apple back to me. And that fire didn't say anything, because fires can't talk, you know that. That farmer's wife said, what a naughty fire. So she looked around, she saw a puddle. She said, oh, puddle of water, splash the fire, so the fire will burn the bee, the bur bee will sting the dog, the dog will chase the cat, the cat will jump on the bird, and the bird will fly down the hole and get my apple back for me. And what did the puddle say? Nothing. Puddles can't talk. You know that. So she looked around and she saw a cow, Winky the cow. And she said, cow, cow, will you splash the water so the water scares the fire, the fire stinks burns the bee, the bee stings the dog, the dog chases the cat, the cat jumps on the bird, and the bird will get my apple back for me. And the cow said, moo, and that meant no. She was a naughty cow. <laughs> and that, that farmer's wife said, what a naughty cow. And she looked around, she saw the little bird again. Little bird, will you peck that cow? So all that stuff would happen. And that little bird was a naughty bird, and he really wanted to peck that cow. He said, well, I will peck that cow for you, but I will not fly down into the hole and get your apple for you. And so she said, okay, you just peck that cow, and we'll see what happens. So the bird pecked the cow. The cow splashed the water. The water splashed the fire. The fire burnt the bee. The bee stung the dog. The dog chased the cat. The cat jumped on the bird. And the bird said, I'm not going down that hole. And just then, do you know what? Out of the ground popped a gopher who said, Hey, is this your apple? The gopher brought the apple back to the farmer's wife. And that's the story of the farmer's wife. Can you think of another way that farmer's wife could have gotten the apple back for herself? Could she have used her own hands and reached into the hole to get the apple? Yes, she could have. Could she have just asked the gopher to bring the apple to her? Yes, she could have. But she had this big plan. The cow, the water, the fire, the bee, the dog, the cat, the bird, and the farmer's wife. That's the story of the farmer's wife. All right, so what shall we do now? Let's have the word of the day. But, oh, first look at this. What's in this apple? It's a little worm. Sometimes worms get inside of apples. Apples grow on trees with a stem and leaves. Sometimes they're red, and sometimes they have little worms inside of them. So let's see what the word of the day is. Oh, here it is. Here's the first letter. This letter is the first letter of the alphabet. You're right, it's a A. An A sounds like ah, ah. And here's a second letter. It is a P. P sounds like P. P. Uh, app. Is that the word of the day? Here's another P. Sounds like P. App. What do you think the word of the day is? Let's see if we can get our apples in a row. It's like getting our ducks in a row, huh? A P P. Here's a L. La la. And then the last one is E. Apple. That's the word of the day, apple. I know a fruit that grows on trees, and apple is its name. Oh, A-P-P-L-E, 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 and apple is its name. Oh, now you know how this goes. It's like with the song Bingo. We turn over the A, and instead of singing A, we clap. You ready? One clap this time. I know a fruit that grows on trees, and apple is its name. O oh, P P L E P P L E P P L E, and apple is its name. O oh, bye bye P. 
I know of fruit that grows on trees, and apple is its name. Oh, P L E, P L E, P L E, and apple is its name. Oh, bye bye, other P. Three claps this time. <laughs> I know of fruit that grows on trees, and apple is its name. Oh, L E. L E L E and apple is his name. Oh, bye bye L. I know a fruit that grows on trees and apple is its name. Oh, E E E and apple is its name. Oh, now we're going to clap it all. I know a fruit that grows on trees, and apple is its name, oh. And apple is its name, oh. That's the word of the day, apple. So now it's time to say goodbye, and we hope you can come see us at the library soon. Goodbye, friends.